How's it going boys? We are back with another playthrough and for this one I think I might have found the toughest Pokemon ROM hack. So I'm gonna pull up just the details for it. So it's basically just the original Red Mystery Dungeon story but it's a Kaizo remake with the main goal of just making it as hard as possible. So the features added is uh, increased level of all Pokemon you find, um, saving before every uh, dungeon entry. So that means when you die, you just go back to the save. You don't get any of the XP, I believe. Um, the craziest thing was the chance of encountering a monster house has massively increased to expect one per floor. If you've never played this game before, a monster house is you just walk into a random uh, area and like 10 maybe even more Pokemon ambush you basically and during normal games like that's stressful and uh, you might get one a dungeon you might not even see one for like five dungeons but this one you're expecting one every floor um, the other changes are the layouts adding more rooms more traps um, just to make it uh, as tough as possible. Um, the craziest thing though is on this feature list, it also included that the guy that did the hack, um, during his test run, he gave up. He never finished the test run. So I haven't seen anything about if this game's been beaten yet, but all I know is the guy that made it found the game too hard to finish um, he kind of posted his info about where he gave up so I thought we're gonna try this challenge um, so the first dungeon is tiny woods and usually your level 5 game drops you down to level 1 to start instead just adding a bit more difficulty and probably very early you guys will see the monster houses and just how tough it was. I did uh, do a practice run of this um, probably a couple months ago when I first found the ROM hack and I just got like one or two dungeons in and even this first one I think it's just three floors but even that took for not forever but was a very um, long time compared to the original and see just like this an example of what a monster house is um, and what will most likely be our first death so that took a good five seconds um, so like right here we are level two if we do die it is back to level one Don't want to jinx ourselves, but we also haven't ran into a uh, monster house since I think the first run. Um, and there's the second one. I feel like this first dungeon we just need to get um, lucky. Because once we make it out of here, we get access to more. We start getting held items, the berries, the um, items to restore your moves. Floor 2 is a mall trust. It is spaced out a bit. That's huge that we can uh, one shot the sun curtain. And kind of the spacing here might help us. Um, Cause it's, they're always at distance right now. Ooh, we are cooking. This is the highest level we've got. And we're both, uh, 
full health. The problem here is the sun currents. So I really hope Pikachu targets one of them. Goes for the Pidgey. We actually learned a new move. Um, we get so lucky there. We actually just survived our first monster house. Um, so the extra move is huge because if we run out of tackle like we just did, we have that extra move to use now. And because of our level, like, uh, obviously absorb still gonna do a lot. Um, whew, we got lucky on that quick step. But um, just the basic like attack action is doing very minimal. We did find the stairs here. I can't move because I'm... That was the run. The stairs are right there. So we will just avoid that room for sure. And the stairs are right here. So that was a good call. So another one of these monster houses um, but just seeing how spread out they are, like, we 100% have a chance to survive this one. Because they got a waste of turn getting to us now. And that's just three hits. The only thing that kind of sucks is they seem to all be targeting me. But obviously the biggest threat is the Sun Kern. Pikachu doesn't use its actual good move, um, which sucks, and I'm actually gonna move back here. This is actually gonna be a close one. Uh, I'm gonna take Growl off Pikachu. And take the Wurmples out just so they have no chance of an extra hit on the Pikachu there. Man, Pikachu's just not using his moves right now. This man can one-shot anybody. That was a big miss um, on their point. So back up to level 6. And we are about to survive this monster house. Which is huge. So if we just don't get bad luck on this last floor right here, um, we should be Gucci. I am gonna... Mud Slap doesn't one-shot him, which is uh, pretty frightening. I missed step there, but we do one-shot the Togepi, which is huge. We aren't as lucky um, last time it, it just being at the spawn or first floor down. That uh, thunder shock is scary. So level seven Pikachu, this is the best we've been. We lose Mudslap, which is terrifying. We need to find these stairs ASAP. I'm out of all my damage moves. This might be it. This might be the run. I need a switch. Wow. Okay, he didn't attack me, which is huge um we know pikachu's thunder shot can one shot him and it does there's the stairs let's see was that the, the final floor i don't know how many attempts that was but it's crazy how 
this ROM hack can make you hyped about being the tutorial dungeon.